Good day. Welcome to the Gulf News Update for Tuesday, January the 16th. Here are the top stories at this hour. Myanmar and Bangladesh have agreed to repatriate Rohingya refugees displaced by an army crackdown within two years. This is the first clear timeline for a return of hundreds of thousands of refugees. The deal applies to Rohingya refugees who fled Myanmar in two major outbreaks of violence since October 2016. A California husband and wife are in custody on suspicion of torture and child abuse after police Police found several of the couple's children chained to beds in putrid surroundings. The nightmarish discovery came Sunday after one of the children, a 17-year-old girl, escaped from the house and called 911. Inside the house, officers found 12 other children, many of them shackled to their beds in dark and foul-smelling surroundings. Airbus has said it would have no choice but to stop producing A380s if it does not work out a deal with Emirates Airline, the aircraft's main customer. Airbus Chief Operating Officer John Leahy said the company is still in talks with Emirates about a possible A380 order. If we cannot work out a deal with Emirates, I think there is no choice but to shut down the A380 program, he said. World number one Simona Halep had to come from 5-2 and a set point down against Australian teenager Destiny Iowa to win a dramatic first round match at the Australian Open today. Six times champion Novak Djokovic, meanwhile, held off young American Donald Young 6 1, 6 2, 6 4 for a winning start. Dolores O'Riordan, whose powerful voice helped make Irish rock band The Cranberries a global success in the 1990s, died suddenly on Monday. The 46 year old singer songwriter's publicist confirmed that Riordan died in London, where she was recording. And finally, the weather. Today's high across the UAE will be 23 degrees Celsius, dropping to 18 degrees at night. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. As always, you can get the latest updates on gulfnews.com.